horse was a fast horse. He generated good speed himself, very good finish, a very good turn of foot. He was just a magnificent type. He had speed, athleticism, good cardiac, lungs, he used to recover quickly from work. Just a majestical type and just a great horse to handle. For me, he's a ready-made racehorse. Cosmic Force is the first son of record-breaking young side deep field to retire to stud. And it's fair to say the apple has not fallen far from the tree. Like Deep Field, Cosmic Force broke race records. His defeat of microphone in the Group 2 Roman Consul was won in race record time. Cosmic Force did all the way in the Roman Consul. They've run 18.14, the race record. Exceed and Excel, Fast Net Rock, Zoo Star and Brazen Bow are all previous winners of this race. Like Deep Field, Cosmic Force won his races by big margins. Cosmic Force absolutely caned them. And as a result, he started favourite in the Group 1 Golden Slipper. When he was on song, he was dynamic. He was very, very good. That horse gave me an unbelievable feel. Just relaxed super in the run. And when I asked him to give a boot, he gave a boot. And he was strong on the line. He, he felt enormous. <laughs> Can I swap <laughs> slipper rods? <laughs> like Deep Field, Cosmic Force was a high price dealing from the first crop of his sire. Breeders will be impressed with him in the flesh. He stands 16 hands, is blessed with so much quality, and he just floats when he moves. Like his father, grandfather, Northern Meteor, and great grandsire in Costa del Lago, Cosmic Force will be leaving top end commercial physicals, and that just takes so much risk out of the equation for any bloodstock portfolio. No surprise then that the breeders that liked Deep Field first season have clambered into Cosmic Force at an introductory fee of $15,000 plus GST. History repeats. After his memorable two-year-old debut win in blue, which shot him straight to the top of Golden Slipper charts, it is fair to say we never dreamed of having the opportunity to stand tasseled. 350 out, Space Boy asked to kick and does so. Space Boy in front, Tassort is pushing off the fence now. It barged its way into the clear, Tassort joins Space Boy now and Tassort starts to draw clear from Space Boy who's all out now. Jonah running on but Tassort, great debut. Tassort rips away to win it. It's pretty exciting to have a horse like him that can uh, provide us somewhat of a benchmark for the rest of our, our crop. He travelled really well and behind the speed when the gap's presented itself. There was no hesitation, he was straight to the mark and, and ran as straight as a gun barrel, so very impressive debut. It was a special win, visually impressive for even the most seasoned race watchers. His time data was off the charts for every racing analyst, with respected form student Daniel O'Sullivan calling in comparisons to Capitalist and Estajab to articulate the strength of his debut on the clock. Tassort's pedigree would excuse you for getting a bit excited too, a son of Brazen Bow a grandson of I'm Invincible and out of Iswaria, making him a half-brother to recent Group 1 superstars Alitze and Astern. By the way, he's a super physical too. Medium-sized, beautifully balanced, huge girth, one of those horses that'll just suit all mares, and he's getting plenty of them. Of course, injury at a second start ended in heartbreak on a racing front, so Tassort stands for $10,000 plus GST in his first season at stud at Newgate in 2020. New to Newgate for the 2020 season is the Hawks racing trained Brutal. Beast. Beast of a horse. Brutal always showed us from day one that he's an above average horse. Brutal, relentless, race clear. This is impressive. Not very often you can come to town and you can blow him away at your first race start. Brutal the inside, Classic Legend the outside, they beat off Osborne Balls. Brutal still in front, 50 out, and Brutal's going to win the Premier. There's no nonsense about him, he fights hard. I've got to say, that was pretty easy work for me. This is an elite racehorse, a winner of the Doncaster as a three-year-old at just his seventh start. That is fewer starts than any other Doncaster winner since the first running of this great race in 1866. Brutal, won it by two lengths to Dreamforce. He's an absolute credit, he's a rock star. I'm in awe of the colt. He gave me that real soft, relaxed feel and he just felt confident underneath me. There was never a point in the race that I ever felt like I was going to lose. Well, the Doncaster has run over the famous Randwick Mile. I think the key takeaway when breeders see Brutal is that he's very much a sprinter miler in his physical appearance. Standing 16 hands, Brutal has awesome whip through his core muscular forearms and gaskins and a huge jowl and this powerhouse physique shines through in his win record which started as a two-year-old with a five-length romp at Caulfield beating Mystic Journey on debut and ended with a fresh-up win in the Group 2 Premier Stakes, a key Everest lead-up. 
John Hawkes' unshakable belief in Brutal's elite talent is a big part of the reason why the son of O'Reilly has joined our Newgate roster. Breeders like Brutal. He's booked out this season at his fee of $25,000 plus GST. Golden Slipper winner Capitalist leads a strong Newgate contingent of young sires with first two-year-old set to race in the upcoming season. As the current two-year-old prize money world record holder, you might expect early results from Capitalist and nothing yet has dampened our enthusiasm, or the markets for that matter. His first crop yearlings this year sold up to $750,000. They made their way into all the right homes and the early chat has Capitalist set to cover another big book this season at his COVID reduced fee of $40,000 plus GST. Watch this space. He will have no excuses. Capitalist, a stallion standing at $40,000 this season that genuinely could be siring million dollar yearlings in two and a half years time. As a young farm, we are extremely proud of our record breaking young side, Deep Field. His oldest crop of four-year-olds roll into the 2021 season fresh from setting a new Australian second crop record with 86 individual winners, eclipsing Northern Meteor's previous record of 80 winners, whilst both stallions side 16 stakes horses apiece respectively. Further, Deep Field set a new second crop Hong Kong record with five winners, including the very promising and unbeaten winning Dreamer. The most exciting thing about Deep Field is that this is just the beginning. You would expect his progeny to progress as they mature, just like Dad, and he has this huge amount of lightly raced winners ready to make their way through to Saturday Metro grade and stakes level over the next 12 months. Deep Field also has a big group of untapped three-year-olds and two-year-olds ready to shine. His stud career is snowballing, and in 2020, Deep Field stands for $50,000 plus GST, having started with us at $20,000 plus GST. Alongside him this year will be his best and first son at stud, Cosmic Force, who is following in his footsteps, having broken records on the track, and similarly starting off on a low fee. Cosmic Force is a mighty fine stallion prospect and another feather in Deep Field's cap. Dissident has sired a healthy weight of winners, with his oldest runners having just turned four year old. Dissident himself shone as a four year old, a season in which he won four of his five group ones and was crowned Australian Horse of the Year. Over the next 12 months, it'll be up to his progeny to make the same improvement to Metro class and better for the leading trainers and owners who have been patient with his stock. Dissident has some nice irons in the fire, as well as a big foal crop pushing through each season. Lindsay Park's unbeaten two-year-old filly of last season, Aiden's Field, looks very special. A black type filly for sure, and amongst the leading chances in the early markets for the Group 1000 Guineas and VRC Oaks. Acrophobic won on debut as a two-year-old for John O'Shea this past season. He holds the colt in high regard and has stakes aspirations for him. They are the leading lights amongst a number of promising types who will carry the flag for Dissident this coming season. He stands at $10,000 plus GST. Extreme Choice stands his fourth season at Newgate in 2020, with his oldest progeny newly turned two-year-olds in the current racing season. Though he can only cover limited size books, Extreme Choice has made each and every mare count. His first crop of 35 yearlings in 2020 averaged $120,000 all told, a huge result for breeders. These prices of course speak volumes for the quality of athlete our Group 1 Blue Diamond and Moya Stakes winner is leaving on the ground and they've sold into all the right stables. Price Kent, James Harron, Anthony Friedman, Kieran Maher, David Eustace, Mitchell Bloodstock, John Foote, Prime Thoroughbreds and our very own Newgate China Horse Club Colt Syndicate. Good stallions are good stallions and the market takes note. Extreme Choice stands at $20,000 plus GST this season. Flying Artie, the absolute sleeper on our 2020 roster. Like capitalist Extreme Choice and winning Rupert, his oldest two-year-olds hit Australian racetracks this season. We are getting plenty of positive feedback from all the top stables on the Flying Arties. Waller, Ma, Snowden, Waterhouse Bot, Price Kent, Lindsay Park, Friedman, Friedman, Gerald Ryan, the list continues. We are not a I told you so type farm, but when he kicks, it will all make sense upon a quick reflection of his race record. He was elite class. A cool more win for the ages, beating the best field ever assembled in that stallion making race. Placed in a slipper, placed in a blue diamond, 
plus a striking physical, Daniel Danzig free and absolutely potent at the covering shed. His service fee is $15,000 plus GST in 2020, but we'll do better than that for you. We are really excited to see where Flying Artie gets to over the next 12 months. You know what? He could be the one. The Ferrari. This is Minari, this monster of a racehorse retired to Newgate two seasons ago and was booked out within hours on the back of his freakish racetrack talent. The big framed, big actioned, elite equine talent unfortunately proved subfertile, and as a result, he's achieved 20 pregnancies in each of his first two years at stud. Only two of his first crop weanlings were offered at auction this season, one purchased by James Bester, the other by Paul Willits, both well-respected judges of the thoroughbred. He's going to have to do it the old-fashioned way with his low numbers, but never say never with a horse as gifted as Minari. He can be accessed for $15,000 plus GST in 2020. Dual Group 1 winning sprinter Russian Revolution has been exceptionally popular in each of his first three seasons at stud, where his potent fertility has allowed him to cover big books of mares. This popularity has flowed into his first weanling sales over the past couple of months, where he was a leading first season sire by average at both the English and Magic Millions fixtures. A $200,000 colt at Magic Millions highlighting the quality he is passing onto his foals, plus the athleticism and the speed, hind leg they all have as a general rule. Breeding fourth season to Russian Revolution comes with the advantage of capitalising on all the high quality mares in high quantities that have gone to him in the seasons before now. His first crop yearlings in 2021 are sure to light up sale rings and this beautifully bred son of Schnitzel may never be better value than he is now at $40,000 plus GST. Super One got off to a solid start with his first crop two-year-olds last season, siring nine winners, which placed him fifth on the first season size table by winners. He has hit the ground running with his three-year-olds in the new season, highlighted by Miss Divinem scoring at Mooney Valley on the first Saturday in August on her season return. That was her third victory in a row, and stakes races now beckon for this prime thoroughbreds filly. Our striking son of I'm Invincible has two big things going for him. Number one, the trainers who have them all still like them, with most suggesting we will see the best of them in their three-year-old seasons. Number two, he has consistently covered good-sized books, in excess of 130 mares each year, so breeders who choose to support Super One this season will have racetrack support and numbers to assist in promoting their product in two and a half years' time. The next 12 months will be the measure of Super One's long-term commercial appeal, but in the meantime, you can access him for below his advertised fee of $10,000 plus GST. Australian Bloodstock's Jamie Lovett tweeted on the 8th of August, I keep saying it, Wanjana, flying under the radar. This was on the back of their four-year-old daughter of Wanjana, Wonderbar, making it four wins from her past five starts in dominant fashion at Rose Hill. She looks stakes class for sure. Throw in the return of one of last season's best two-year-olds, Group 2 Skyline winner Mama Reagan, who is amongst the favourites for the Golden Rose and the Caulfield Guineas. And you can quickly see how this spring carnival might explode for Wanjana commercially through some big race success. And then he will be on everyone's radar. Before then, however, we have Wanjana's 2020 service fee set at $10,000 plus GST. Six starts, five wins, two track records. Tells you most of what you need to know about winning Rupert's speed. While the fact that his highest priced first crop yearlings in 2020 were purchased by all the big names gives you a good insight into the quality of stock a young son of Ritten Tycoon is putting on the ground. Hawks Racing, James Harron, Bjorn Baker, Kieran Ma, John Foote, Henry via our Newgate Colt Syndicate, Mick Price, John Sadler, Matt Laurie, the list continues. His yearling sold for $420,000, $280,000, $230,000, etc. All off a $20,000 service fee. His first two-year-olds are set to hit the ground running this season and they look sharp just like their old man. Powerful quarters, big actions and a ton of precocity. Winning Rupert is a big chance at a small fee of $15,000 plus GST in 2020. But we will do better than that between now and the first two-year-old trials next month. He has good numbers following through so I like to play a lot on him this season at the price. Daniel Danzig free and plenty of blue sky for breeders to tap into.